each year in October. As a school community, we take the opportunity to especially remember family members, friends, or others known to us who have died. This act of remember, reflect that follows now will enable us to think about and honour those who have died. It's been expressed that having someone you know die can be one of the hardest things to experience in life. Plus, that if you're young, bereavement, that's the word used to describe what you experience after someone has died, can be even more difficult. Please do know, however, that whatever our age, support and advice are available to help if and when it happens. As I finish, Havelock Ellis expresses some words that I think can help us in the context of bereavement. All the art of living lies in a fine mingling of letting go and holding on. When we are weary and in need of strength, when we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have a joy we crave to share, when we have decisions that are difficult to make, when we have achievements that are based on theirs, we remember them. At the blowing of the wind and the chill of winter, at the opening of the buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. At the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of summer, at the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. At the rising of the sun and at its setting, we remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us. We remember them. If you would like to make my prayer your prayer, you might want to say the word Amen after I do at the end of it. Amen being a word that simply means I agree. You can do that out loud or silently in your head as you prefer. Dear God, please hear our prayer for ourselves for us as a school community together, for our families, and for all who live with the painful memories of loss. We ask please for peace for the past, strength for today, and courage for tomorrow. We ask these things in the name of Jesus, who shares our life in joy and sorrow, death and new birth, despair and promise. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to
The Lord has promised good to me. Here's what my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be. As long as life endures, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. When someone important to you dies, you can miss them a lot and feel very sad when you think about them. You might even worry that you'll forget what they were like, but there are lots of ways to remember. Some people enjoy visiting a place their special person loved, like the countryside or a park. Perhaps you could grow a plant that makes you think of them. It can be nice to fill a box with objects that bring back memories, such as photographs, clothes, jewellery, or other things that make you think about them. Whenever you look in your box, you'll be reminded of them. You could make a book where you draw pictures or write about your special person. This might be the colour of their eyes, their favourite sports team, or the food they enjoyed. Just talking with your family and friends about the person who died could be a nice thing to do. You could share stories, look at photographs, and think about all the funny or kind things they did. Not all our memories may be good ones, and sometimes remembering can make you feel sad. This is okay. Sometimes remembering can make you smile or even laugh. This is okay too. Your memories are yours to treasure. Whatever you do, it can help to remember. I'm standing on the seashore. A ship sails in the morning breeze and starts for the ocean. She's an object of beauty, and I stand watching her till at last she fades on the horizon, and someone at my side says, she's gone. Gone where? Gone from my sight, that is all. She is just as large in the mast, hull and spars as she was when I saw her, and just as able to bear her load of living freight to its destination. The diminished size and total loss of sight is in me, not in her. And just at the moment when someone at my side said, she's gone. There are others who are watching her coming and other voices take up a glad shout. There she comes and that is dying. We light this candle to remember those persons who have been loved and lost. We pause to remember their name, their face, their voice. We give thanks for the memory that binds them to us. May eternal love surround them.
we light this second candle to remember ourselves, to redeem the pain and loss, the loss of relationships. We remember the grief and sadness and reflect on our own mortality. Let us remember that light defeats darkness. We ask for the gift of peace. When I have moved beyond you in the adventure of life, gather in some pleasant place, and there remember me, with spoken words old and new. Let a tear, if you will, but let a smile come quickly, for I have loved the laughter of life. Do not linger too long with your solemnities. Go eat and talk, and when you can, follow a woodland trail, climb a high mountain, walk along the wild seashore. Chew the thoughts of some book which challenges your soul. Use your hands some bright day to make a thing of beauty or to lift someone's heavy load. Though you mention not my name, though no thought of me crosses your mind, I shall be with you. For these have been the realities of life for me. And when you face some crisis with anguish, when you walk alone with courage, when you choose your path of right, I shall be very close to you. I have followed the valleys. I have climbed the heights of life. May the grace of God heal you, body and soul. May your pain cease. May your strength increase. May your fears and worries be released. And may blessings, love and joy surround you now and always. Amen. <laughs>